Alright everybody, today we have Crimson Diamond something something part one. Um, I've never played a game like this before because it's like old school text point and click game and you, I, I suck at point and click so I've never even messed with the text yet. So we're going to do this tutorial. Give me all of that. Welcome to the tutorial room. My name is Nancy Maple. Hello Nancy Maple. I'll be showing you some of the basics of playing a text- What is a parser? Adventure game. This music is going so hard. Following the text prompts at the bottom of the screen will walk you through the tutorial. Jesus. When you first enter a room, it's useful to start by typing look. Ah. Oh crap, I missed. When you type look in a room, the game will describe important features. You see a cupboard and a green door. Ah. Ah. The game will also list the other characters in the room. It did list Maple. Oh, Jack. Talk man or look woman will work too. If you're having trouble with names. Type look Jack to learn more about him. Ah. Jack Precord is a tall, lean man. He looks pissed. With a shiny bald head. He is Mr. Richard's employee. And is in charge of the cooking, cleaning, gardening, and married. God, he does everything. That's why he's pissed. And married to other tasks, he's the murderer. The lodge might require. He's weary, but still seems to be in decent spirits. No, he does not. Jack is somewhere in his 40s. No, no, he does not. Jack is here to help with the tutorial. How do you do? Looking at characters at different points in the game may give you additional information. Try to talk to Jack and see what he has to say. Talk to Jack. Hello, Jack. My name is Nancy Maple. Nice to meet you, Nancy. We'll do voices when we get into the full game and fail at it horribly. You can ask me about stuff. Oh, I like asking about stuff. Type Ask Jack about tutorial. Ask, but how am I supposed to know to type Ask Jack about tutorial if you didn't tell me that? That's a good question. The default movement method is to click to walk, shown by the two footprint icon. The blue in the upper left corner of the icon indicates what the target spot is. Or you can use the arrow keys to move around the screen. You can also ask me about inventory. Uh, ask inventory. Okay. Ask Jack about inventory. God, you gotta type a whole word or a whole sentence. You can access your inventory by typing M or I into the text parser. Or you can press tab. The cursor will change to an eye. Click on the eye on the items in your inventory to look at them. Click on the gray loop, loop, lupe icon at the bottom of the inventory window. The cursor will become a lupe. What is the lupe? You can click, oh, you can click the lupe on some of your items in your inventory to examine them. Oh, this thing, this is a lupe. You can close the inventory tab by pressing the tab key, the escape key, or enter. Try Ask Jack About Notebook. Ask Jack About Notebook. The notebook can help be helpful if you get stuck. It'll tell you what you need to, oh, that's awesome. What you need to do to progress, next progress into the game. Be careful, if you simply follow the notebook prompts, you might miss something important. Ah, eh, whatever. The notebook will be displayed if you type note or in. You can close the notebook by clicking the X button, the escape key, or enter. Oh. Let's escape, Nancy. I guess I'll ask Jack about the cupboard. Yo, Jack, what about that cupboard, homie? You can open the cupboard by typing open cupboard. If you type open door, it'll open the green door, not the cupboard door. Ah. Sometimes there will be more cupboard. There will be more cupboard. In which case, you might have to walk close to the cupboard you want to open. Ah. Looks like there's something inside the cupboard. It's my hat. If you look cupboard, the game will tell you what the cupboard looks like. If you look in cupboard, the game will tell you what's inside the cupboard. Search cupboard also works. Boom. You see a green hat in the cupboard. Look hat. Pick up hat. That's my green hat. Try take hat. Alright, we're doing it. You take the green hat. Congratulations, you're done. 
Open the door. This is gonna be a long, long game. <laughs> this took forever. <laughs> the tutorial took me five minutes. If you're ready to leave the tutorial, either use the arrow keys to walk through the door or click the feet icon. I can use the arrow keys? Oh, pfft. easy. Gonna do that. Intro, baby. Oh, yeah, it's an old man. He's fishing. Yes, we got a big one. Holy mackerel. Oh, 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 oh. oh man, he's murdering it. Poor fish. Oh, this is getting graphic. Is he, what is he pulling out? Oh, it's a diamond. What the fuck is this diamond doing in my fish? Get out of here. Oh, is that me? There you are, Nancy. This is it. What we've been waiting for. Far up north, a fisherman found a massive diamond in the belly of a fish. This could be a real boon for our mineralogy exhibit. We need something better than those di dilettantes. Dilet dil dilettants over in geology. I want our exhib exhibit to be the talk of the town. As you always say, Professor. <laughs> I, I know you're just a clerk with formal training, but we can't spare anyone else to head up there. I'm not usually in the habit of sending unsupervised la young ladies into less civilized regions, but s see ya! But as luck would have it, the discovery is made near a lodge where I'm sure you could stay while you conduct your field work. S what happened to our quality of Nancy's face? She is terrifying. She has no soul. <laughs> what in the world? So get on home, pack your bags, and catch the train up north. I'll do my best. What? Her eyes are pitch black. <laughs> if you'll find something that can make a big splash at the museum, who knows? Maybe the university will finally accept you as a mineralogy student. They haven't even accepted me as a student, but they're sending me out for a case research? What? Good luck, kiddo! I won't let you down. I feel like this is a scam. How are they sending me on projects, but I don't ha I'm not a student. Here's my train. Yay! Whoa, we just jacketed it up, son. I'm about to ghost ride or somebody with a pin in the stair or something. Goodbye, big city. Hello, adventure. Look at her eyeballs now. She's got eyeballs. A few hours later. Is that a shark behind me? Is that a shark head or a cupcake? Or what is that? Z Excuse me. Is this seat taken? Not at all. Please have a seat. My name is Kimmy Kistrado. Where are you headed? Pleased to meet you. I'm Nancy Maple. I'm bound for a town called Crimson. Oh my, you've got some hours yet. I should know because that's where I'm going. I'm a clerk from the Royal Canadian Museum. My boss sent me to check out the diamond claim up there. I hadn't heard of that discovery. How interesting. He wants to give our mineralogy exhibit a boost. The ex geology exhibit draws more visitors. I'm not a trained mineralogist, but ever since I was a kid, I loved learning about rocks. I spent hours in the library reading all about them. So when I found out the Royal Canadian Museum was- God, we're telling a life story- or was being established, and they had a mineralogy department, I jumped at the chance to work there. I'm only a clerk right now, but my dream is to firmly get educated in mineralogy. This is my big opportunity to show everyone I can do field work. Where will you be staying when you get to Crimson? When we get to Crimson? A place called Crimson Lodge. Ah, oh, I'm staying at Crimson Lodge too! I'm a- Oh god, now it's her life story. Ho oh, oh. ho! I'm a birder! I hear there are nesting colonies, colonies of co What are these words? Cormorants up there. That's what I want to see. And I wouldn't mind seeing the- What the world? Soul locks while I'm in the area. I'd love to see the big ships up close. Wonderful, we can be traveling companions. I very much like that. You and Kimmy chat amiably for a while. As the day wears on, the rhythm of the train moving over the tracks and the monotony of the scenery lulls you into a deep sleep. And then she steals all our money, and we die out in the wilderness, alone, desperate. 
The conductor announces, Crimson, the stop! That's my stop! Oh no, where's my luggage? Kimmy stole it! Somebody random stole it! It's not here, I can't find it anywhere! My fill kit's in the air, but what am I going to do? The train will be leaving soon, Nancy! We have to leave now! Oh god! Oh no! He took our stuff! Oh, I had no idea anyone else was still on the train. Hello there! Why's he got two suitcases? Hello! I didn't notice you in the train, isn't that funny? Not really, I was in the first class car. I'm here to see the nesting comrades. Is that why you're here? Comrade? Is that a type of rodent? Oh god, it's him! Uh, excuse me folks, but I was sent to pick up just one person from the station tonight. A European fellow expert meteorologist on assignment, hired by the federal government on loan from Antwerp. I wasn't told he'd be bringing any secretaries, wives, or girlfriends. Um... Oh crap! I hit- I held the inner key. I'm sorry for the confusion, sir. Jack. I'm sorry for the confusion, Jack, but we don't know this man at all. My name is Nancy Maple, and my friend here is Kimmy Kishiro. I was sent from the Royal Canadian Museum to investigate the diamond claim up at the... up by Crimson Lodge. And I'm here to see the nesting comrades. Okay. <laughs> She's just like, I want to see the comrades! <laughs> We're both here to stay at the lodge and go about our business. Do you know which way it is from here? I surely know where it is, because that's where I drove from. But I'm sorry to tell you, ladies, the lodge has been closed to the public for months. You didn't hear? My boss, Mr. Richards, he's getting on. He's done with the lodging business. All he wants is peace and quiet, but then this whole diamond fiasco starts up. Folks are all up in arms. He's not pleased at all, I can tell you. This gentleman here is on government orders. Mr. Richard can't do much about that. But you two. Well, that's unfortunate, but you only have yourselves to blame for being uninformed. Let's be off, Jack. Good evening, ladies. The thing is, ain't no one's coming by here at this time of night. And the nearest accommodation to the lodge, which is a few hours away by mo automobile even still. Look here, I'll drive you ladies up to the lodge for tonight. Tomorrow morning, I'll bring you back here so you can catch the train. As it is, Mr. Richard is going to be peeved about hosting unexpected guests. I mean, even more than he is already. His sister comes up from the city to stake her claim. And she brought a lawyer to boot. Come along now. Oof. What? He gonna make him ki Uh, sure, I'll get those for you. Rude. Sir, your chunks arrived a few days ago. Boy, they sure are heavy. Oh yes, of course. My, it sure gets dark out here at night. Lucky for you, I made this trip many times. Used to be, folks would come out here in the summers for recreation. And before my time, settlers came to this area in hopes of building lives for themselves. But once the mines were used up, there wasn't mu much reason for them to stay. The soil ain't that good. Have you seen any comrades? I'm hoping to see some! Ho oh, ho ho! Yeah, they nest up uh, on the cliffside. Stay away, though. They don't like being disturbed, particularly during nesting season, which happens to be right now. So if you're so wild about birds, I'd let them alone. you do more harm than good. Besides, tomorrow morning, I'll be taking you right back to the train station. You won't have any time to look for them. Have any other diamonds been found around the lodge? First of all... No way to even know to know even if that rock came from around here. I've lived in this area for years and ain't never seen any diamonds, so I know for a fact that it didn't come from these parts. They say the man cut it out from the belly of a fish. That diamond would have come could have come from anywhere upstream. You folks are wasting your time here, sorry to say. 
Who cares about shiny rocks anyways? No use to anybody. We shall see about that. Your travel weary companions assist you resist your attempts at chit chat. It seems that Kimmy and Albert have fallen asleep, although in the almost complete darkness it's hard to tell. It's impossible for Jack to hear you from the back seat above the cacophony of the in of the engine and the automobile rattling over the rough country road. You decide it would be best not to distract him anyway. Ah. Here we are. Wow, it's spectacular. You know what? I almost don't mind having more buddies at the lodge. Feels not so empty. Feels like old times. Make yourself at home while you're here. Thanks, Jack. Welcome to the Crimson Lodge, where you will all be dying. Ha 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 ha. Miss Kishiro, Miss Maple, your room is upstairs at the end of the hall on the right. The bedroom across the hall from you, that's Mr. Richard's suite. Try to keep quiet and stay out of his way, won't you? He shares the suite with Margot. She's his lady friend. Ho ho ho, lady friend. After I get this luggage upstairs, I'm gonna start up some supper. Wouldn't do to have you start all starve, eh? Why don't you explore the lodge a little? Take Talk to the other folks. Most important, stay out of my hair. I'm a busy man. Not literally, of course. <laughs> oh, it was a joke. Ah, you're so funny, bald man. Oh, and if you want to share to shower tonight, use the upstairs bathroom near the stairs. It's very pink. You can't miss it. Hmm, wonder if Nat st is still here. How many places do I got set at the table tonight? I'm going to my room. I, you and Kimmy head upstairs to your bedroom. You don't have any luggage to unpack, but you hang your hat and coat on the fort bug of your bed and consider yourself settled in. Kimmy's kind of weird. Chapter 1. Introductions. Look at that text. To move Nancy, you can click the feet icon on your target destination, or you can use the arrow keys to move. I learned that in the tutorial, thank you. Hmm, I should talk to everyone and get to know them a little before dinner. Your notebook will tell you what you need to do to progress through the game. Type notebook or in when you want to refer to it. I've got some time to kill. Oh, I've got some time to kill. I might as well <laughs> take a look around too. <laughs> you sound so manly, Nancy. Typing look into the text parser is a good way to get your bearings. Look, this is the bedroom you were sharing with Kimmy. A pair of twin beds and matching nightstands are set against the east wall. Kimmy has claimed the bed. I can see this with my eyes. I can use my eyes and actually look. Claim the bed closest to the fireplace. A clever move on her part as summer nights are chill still chilly this far north. Kimmy is here. Kimmy is here. Talk, Kimmy. I've never been to a place like this before. I, I'm excited to explore and I love meeting new people. Yes, you are the inquisitive type, aren't you? Ha, ah, my clothes are done. I most certainly am. Would you like to join me? No, thanks, Nancy. I'm exhausted. That bumpy ride from the train station has left me a bit frazzled. I'm going to bed soon after dinner. I'm sorry you won't be able to stay at the lodge and see those nesting comrades. Who knows what tomorrow will bring? I'm going to slash the tires on that car. I like to live diet life day by day. We talked to Kimmy. The notebook will track main objective progress. Whoa! You can also ask characters about different topics. You must specific who you are talking about and what you'd like to ask. Try ask Kimmy about birds. Ask Kimmy about comrades. Can I do that? You know everything about that. Oh, ask about Kimmy. Maybe I spelled it wrong. Okay, damn it. Birds! You don't know any- Oh, cormorants. I spelled it wrong. I'd- I'd heard those were nesting cormorants in the region. Nowadays, they're rare. Fishermen kill them because they think the birds eat up all the fish. But it's not true. Poor things. Ah, oh, she's a crazy hippie. Look, cupboard. The fancy glass paint curio cabinet is full of silver steins, howls, and other various other items. Useless. Looks. Kimmy's batter suitcase is made from hard wearing full grain leather. Oh, 
Oh, my hat. Yeah. Wear hat. Wear hat. I want to, though. Is that okay? <laughs> That's kind of cool. I like this. This is kind of neat. The field stone fireplace looks like it would come in handy on chilly nights. There's some powdery soot accumulating in the fireplace. The poker might poke through your pocket and puncture your leg. Take it anyways! A triptych of small wood cuts on colored paper hanging on silver frames. A black and white photograph of a mountain hangs over the fireplace. There's a pair of binoculars on the nightstand next to the lamp. Take binoculars. Please don't take those! I need them for my bird watching! Okay, lady. Okay. But I want them. What are these pictures? Type H or help to open the help window. There is a list of parser shortcuts to simplify using the parser. Example OD means open door. Good. OD. You can't use OD in this game unless you put a space. Whose room is this? Let's just type in look. This is a master bedroom. Mr. Richard shares it with oh god. With Margot. You feel a little weird about invading their private space. There is a wardrobe and nightstands to the left and right of the bed. There are two doors in the south wall. Look chest. Open chest. Ah, it's locked. Of course. Of course it's locked. Where'd the music go in this game? It got oddly quiet. There are nightstands on both sides of the bed. Open nightstand. What do we got here? Look, drawer. Look at it! Look in drawer. There's a roll of white tape in the Take tape. You take the adhesive plaster out of the nightstand drawer. Oh, we acquired a thing. Let's go. This one's empty. The fireplace mantle has a vast vase and a picture frame. A cherry frame poster of a woman riding a horse hangs over the fireplace. The large bed has a cozy looking quilt on it. The headboard and open door. OD. Ah, it's a bathroom. What luxury! An ornate bathtub is a focal pole that is surrounded by a blue curtain. Take blue curtain. Ah, oh, whatever. Take plunger. Oh. Okay, whatever. Good enough. What's in here? We're just raiding this place, people's house. That's what we do, baby. Give me your stuff. What's up, lady? I'm here to take... I'm here to rob you. Hello, Margot. It's nice to meet you. My name's Nancy Maple. A pleasure to meet you, mademoiselle. Uh, welcome to Crimson Lodge. How will, long will you be staying with us? I'm only here tonight, unfortunately. I was sent here by the Royal Canadian Museum on assignment. But Jack says I'm due to leave on the train tomorrow, according to Mr. Richard's wishes. Hmm, I see. I'm sorry we won't get to know each other better. Crimson Lodge is a lovely place. I was a city girl for a time, but those days were behind me. Okay. 
Hmm. I can't ask her about the city life. Okay. Screw it. Margot's boudoir transports you into to fin de sickle prairies. I don't know what that is. It's shiny, opulent, perhaps slightly tacky, and very, very pink. A mirrored vanity is the focal point in the room. Exotic perfumes, however, is an intensely localized clouds that you can almost see. Every movement stirs air currents that bring new scents to your nose. Margot's powder compact is on the vanity. Margot is here. You gesture towards the compact questioningly. Margot nods in assent. But of course, please do take the powder. You certainly need it. Oh, thanks. Hey, hey, hey. You accept the powder from Margot. It's a cocaine? Thank you. It is nearly empty and I have another. Please use it for as long as you're here. Use powder. Apply powder. Hmm, perhaps I can refill the powder tin with something else. No has been added to your notebook. Find a powdery substance. Oh, I know where a powdery substance is. Oh, we were learning in the fireplace so I can use it as pocket sand. It's a weapon. Yay! Yes! We did something! Why did we do it? I don't know. <laughs> we have pocket sand. Masterful oil painting. It's framed and hung at the end of the upstairs hallway. This plaque reads L. Harris. Interesting. Press escape to open the main menu for your options. You can save and load your game, adjust the game speed, and more. We should save. There we go. Ah, oh, there's a door here. OD. Whose room is this? There's an expensive looking leather suitcase at the foot of the bed. Open. This achieves a little effect. Okay. There isn't anything in this waste paper basket. That's not what I'm looking. I'm trying to look in the clothes thing down here. This is the bedroom Jack is sharing with Corvus. Judging from the crate haphazardly filled with clothes, Jack didn't get much notice regarding this new living arrangement. There is a large dra dresser set against the back wall containing many small drawers. You also see a low coffee table, writing desk, bookcase, push plush armchair, and a pair of beds. What'd they call this? Look into... what do you call... one more. Crate. I don't know. You know those kinds of books you see in the bed and breakfast there? That are there for decoration and seem completely uninteresting. These are those kind of books. Nice. Are we gonna look in all of them? Let's freaking go. He's opening them all. Uh, 
Uh, the drawers are all empty. Okay. There's a satchel. Satchel is locked tight. God dang it. Take satchel. Oh, the satchel is mine. <laughs> All right. Type inventory or I to do something, something to open your inventory with no T. Da -da. Got it. An elegant tin of powder. A label reads, absorb your oils and grab your prints. A brush is included for application. You filled the empty powder compact with some soup from the fireplace. Why did we do that? I don't know. But we did it. All right. Uh, well, all these rooms are empty. Oh my gosh. Don't make me ask you walk. Lord. She'll open all those drawers by herself, but I asked her to open a cupboard from across the room. Nope. Empty. Open them all. What we got? The painted drawers are open. Empty. Okay, I don't know. I don't know how to open the side compartments. Ah, whatever. Good enough. Whose room is this? This is a pretty large bedroom. There's a love seat and an armchair arranged around a low table. There's a wardrobe, a dresser, and a painted cupboard. Okay. Oh, we missed the door. Hmm, paint. Okay. Locked. One shelf stands at the back wall full of battered books. Another shelf is by the door and holds linen and towels. All right. <laughs> That's Jack's job. How dare you get me to try to do things? I meant to look into cupboard. Yay, it's empty. Alright. We're almost to the top floor. Gosh, there's so many rooms in this house. This is the pink room. Hmm. Woman with vol volum voluminous whiplash hair is advertising cigarettes in the art, this Art Nouveau poster. Let's just see if there's anything in here. Let's take a shower. Oh. What are we doing here? Ah. We did it! Hooray! <laughs> I think some privacy would be nice. <laughs> oh, the sensual towel drop. <laughs> oh, Lord. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. No suit! Throw the suit! Oh, they stabbed me! What in the world? Oh, hell! <laughs> you aren't looking too sharp. Are you a psycho? You should be more careful. Thanks for playing. <laughs> oh! Okay, damn it. That's fucked up. <laughs> That's fucked up. 
I didn't even know there was a killer yet, and you murdered me. Spare room is brightly decorated and inviting. There's a love seat and a fancy lap and some decorative pieces. The bookshelf contains a set of classic literature as well as a number of storybooks. There is a, also a framed photograph. The photograph appears to be of Evan and Nessa's parents posed in front of the newly built lodge. Who's Evan and Nessa? The Art Nouveau post is an advertisement for Absinthe, featuring an auburn-haired woman in a shirt robe. Okay. I got murdered, dude. That sucked. That really sucked. Let's look at our notebook. Kimmy, Margot, Albert, Nessa. God, there's so many people here. This is a bathroom. I'm staying away from that. Last time I got in the bathroom, I got freaking murdered, son. Take shovel. We need this. Ah, whatever. Okay. Open drawer. Open cabinet. Look into cabinet. Look, mirror. There's a crack in the mirror. You wonder how that got there. I don't know. There's a dude randomly stabbing people. Maybe you put a crack in the mirror. Who knows? This door's already open. Hmm, I hear voices near this doorway. I wonder what they're talking about. I don't know. Let's go in and find out. Hmm. Hmm, what we have we here? Orvis and Nessa abruptly stop talking to each other and busy themselves with the almonds in front of them. Hello, Corvus. How do you do? My name's Nancy Maple. Corvus looks down his nose at you. It is This is quite an accomplishment, considering you are standing and he is sitting. Hello, Miss Maple. My name is Corvus Shaw. I'm Mrs. Nessa's friend's... Nee Richards' lawyer. She is Evan's older sister. He gestures to the woman on the, seated on the sofa. Once diamonds have been found on this land, I will ensure Miss Crab gets the share owed to her. You sound pretty sure that there's diamonds here. Of course, the prospectors have looked everywhere else. That means the diamonds must be here. I'm gonna try to listen to him outside the door in a second. Hello, Nessa. My name's Nancy Maple. It's a pleasure to meet you. <laughs> What on earth are you doing here? Are you another one of Evan's gold-digging girlfriends? Not at all, but I am a diamond-digging mineralogist. At least I hope to be. The government has sent a professional to handle that. Stay out of his way. Uh, how are you, Nessa? I'll be happy when I get back to civilization, reaping the benefits of this incredible windfall. What a scumbag. The almonds belong to me! Never knowing with a confection that could double as a small caliber ammunition might come in handy. You take a handful. My goodness, it's dark. Is there anything out there? I have no need to get out of this right way right now. Oh, I get the psycho joke now. In psycho, there's a shower scene. I'm a freaking idiot. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha! Uh. Uh, what is this? I don't know. The parlor is fussily decorated in an elaborate wallpaper and a cushy carpet. A pull cut crystal ball of Jordan's almonds sits on a low table. There is a fancy pair of armchairs and a camelback sofa. A, br a small bronze... Did I type cupboard? Maybe I spelled it wrong. Sculpture stands on an ornate cupboard. The oil painting depicts a canoe docked on the shore of a lake. While you are no expert, you feel it is quite well done. 
Ha <laughs> ha! We've only just arrived, but I can't wait to leave. I've always hated this place. We'll get this whole affair straightened out and be gone in no time. Of course, locating the will would expedite our departure. I told you I don't even know if there is a will. That does complicate things, yes. Well, you do your job and I'll do mine. Game has auto-saved. Hey, we made progress, apparently. The game liked what we did. Thanks, game. I like you too, game. Kinda. Besides you letting me get shanked. That wasn't cool. My goodness, this is dark as anything out there. I'm missing a towel. The mudroom has a tiled floor, making it easier to clean. There is a low basin for washing off boots. There is a wooden storage area with lockers, drawers, baskets, and cubbies for boots. Boots are mine! There's nothing here. <laughs> Is there a sprint key? No. Why are all these doors already open? I didn't open these doors. Oh, I did open this door. Wait. I'm so confused. The perception is baffling me. Okay, I opened multiple doors. <laughs> God. What is up here? Ah, oh, it's a dining room. My goodness, it's dark outside. My good, I'm trying to look in the room. Look, the dining room is an impressive sight. A massive Persian rug covers the floor, on top of which stands an eloquent, elegant dining table and matching chairs. I wish there was like background music. Take. Take glass. The way the glasses are made, they aren't useful for much. Isn't that enough? I don't know. Take a drink. Mine. Ah, cheers. Can I get drunk? Take some whiskey and. Ah. And store it in your tummy. It would have soaked through your pocket. God, she's a lush. Look at her just down in that whiskey, son. Woo, that whiskey is pretty strong. Okay. Can I die from alcohol poisoning? My goodness, this stuff is going straight to my head. <laughs> You're drinking it like a fish. What a champion. I probably have my limit. I really ought to stop. Shot, 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 shots. Oh, sh blah! My fight money. I'm dead. Oh dear. Next time, try to enjoy responsibly. I just wanted to see if it happened or not. Alright, so we listened to Corvus, we went up here, we looked at the dining room. We should probably go deeper into the dining room, probably. I bet that one dude's over there cooking. I need to talk to him, actually. <laughs> we drink ourselves to death, that's funny. What's your name? Pigeon has a rough hue and rustic charm. The lack of decorations and fine furnishing implies that this room wasn't meant to be seen by lodge guests. There are quibblers along the walls and an icebox in the corner. A strip of yellow flypaper dangles near the door. Jack is here. Talk. Whoa there, I'm busy cooking up dinner. Get out from my, under my feet. Hello Jack, how do you do? I'm Nancy Maple. 
Sorry, I can't talk right now, miss. I'm busy. Jack moves from stove to counter and back again, whipping up what is sure to be a fine meal. He's too busy to talk right now. Fine. Be that way, Jack. Be that way. I kind of want to take that bottle. I can't reach it. Okay. Okay. You win. Let's continue our quest. Hmm. I hear voices near this doorway. I wonder what they're talking about. So what are we going to do about this? What are we going to do about it? We are going to do anything. I'm going to stay out of everyone's way and wait for this all to blow over. But what if they find? Shh, listen, if you want to talk, we'll do it privately later. Meet me in the study after dinner. Game is auto-saved. We'll go in there in a second. Whoa, what's here? This is a room. This is Evan Richards' well-appointed study. Next to the ornately covered fireplace, there is a fine tapestry depicting a fort scene. There is a display cabinet beside the fireplace. A fancy desk with brass fittings sits on the plush carpet. You surmise this room was once used by Evan's father, as it doesn't seem to be his taste. The clock appears to be broken. Look at the moose! Although the moose head looks pretty oppressive on the wall, you can't help but feel a twinge of sympathy for the animal. Not the animal. Look, bookshelf. The bookshelves contain a set of something, something, something. Nothing of interest. Whose room have we not been in yet? Who are you? The conservatory is a room is a stunning showpiece of a room. Surely the expense and trouble to bring this many panes of glass to this far north must be enormous. Evan is here. Nathan is here. Hello, Mr. Richards. My name is Nancy Maple, and I'm a mineralogist on the assignment from the Royal Canadian Museum. Look, you and your friend can stay the night, but tomorrow morning Jack will put you on a train back to the city. But my boss sent me up here on behalf of the Canadian Royal Museum. I'm a mineralogist. I've got too much on my plate as it is. What with my sister and that lawyer of hers. And one mineralogist has already won too many. Please, Mr. Richards, allow me to stay for just a little while and give me two. Me, Margot, and Jack is all I want in this here lodge. You seem like a nice girl, but all this brouhaha is making my headache. I'm sorry to disappoint you. Please, Miss Richard. Oh. What's the other dude's name? Nathan. Hello, my name is Nancy Maple. Ah, oh, he's a Native American dude. Cool. Hello, Mr. Maple. I'm a family friend of Evans. How do you know him? Oh, I don't actually know Mr. Richards at all. I don't actually know Mr. Richards at all. The Royal Canadian Museum sent me here on assignment. I'm to sh survey the land and find out if there are diamonds here. A discovery like that would surely make a splash when the museum opens to the public. You're wasting your time. I'm sorry to say my family has lived in this area for many, many years and have never found diamonds here. Small red garnets are still plentiful, but of little value. Hello, Mr. Cardinal. Hello, Miss Maple. I hope you're keeping well. What's this? What's this on the floor? I don't know. Oh, it's probably the light shining in. Who have I not talked to? No. Uh, we talked to everybody. I guess. Alright, Kimmy, Margot, Albert. I gotta find Albert's punk. Where you at, Albert? Where you at, Albert? Is he upstairs? Oh, there's a room right there on this, I guess. 
Open door. This is the kitchen, right? Maybe it's the one on the right, left, yeah. Come here, Albert. Is Albert not here? A billiard table dominates the center of the room. There's a cue stand against one wall and a card table nestled in a corner. Interesting. Is he upstairs? The depth of perception in this game is actually killing me. It's really hard to understand where I'm going. <laughs> Albert! Albert! Alvin! There he is. What on earth are you doing? Get away from my luggage. Hello, Mr. Respa. How are you settling in? Please, miss. I am busy at the moment and can't chat. Game is auto-saved. You hear Jack calling supper. It's time to head to the dining room. Mr. Respa is unpacking his things and doesn't want to chat right now. I don't want to chat with you either, fool. Supper time! Supper in the morning, supper in the evening, supper at supper time. When supper is on the table, you can have supper anytime. My goodness, we have a lot of company here. Oh, what a lot of company we have tonight. This is giving me indigestion. Upset stomach diarrhea. This food is giving me indigestion. You're welcome to leave. In fact, please do. Ah, oh, you liked that, wouldn't you? I'm not going anywhere until we find out if the diamond came from this land. And if it did, then you better believe I'm getting my share. That's what you think. Yes, that's what we think. That's what I'm here to ensure. Hey, you. How long is that going to take? Hmm. I will begin my field work tomorrow morning. Crimson used to be a garden mining town, yes? Yeah, but forget about visiting those mines. They blasted the mine entrances shut years ago when they closed it down unless the fish had a pickaxe, broke into the mine, swallowed a diamond, then drove back into the river. Hmm, yes, I see. I never even been there, but couldn't tell you where it is. Mr. Richard gets a sour look on his face and digs back into his mill. He looks like he is done with conversation. Ah, uh, Market. What a nice, lovely necklace you're wearing. Thank you, Mademoiselle. Monsieur Evans, he gave it to me. I'm very fond of it. Hmm, a cheap trinket, miss... Shape and paste gem in a cheap setting. It's a white garnet, not glass, miss... My Richard, he found it here in crimson. Didn't you, mon cher? Never mind, Margaret. No one wants to hear about that. I do. <laughs> my sapphire brooch? Now this is a real piece of jewelry. Brought it myself. Well, I think they're both quite nice. <laughs> I read in the newspaper that most of the lands up here was once parceled out to settlers. Is that how the plot became property of Mr. Richard's father? I don't know. About 50 years ago, this land was annexed by the government. Various treaties were signed in exchange for preservation of our hunting and fishing rights and financial compensation. The promises described in those treaties were not honored, by the way. Settlers came, mines were dug, and Crimson was prosperous for a time. But eventually the mines were exhausted. Most settlers abandoned their homestead and Crimson became a ghost town. Only Mr. Richards and his family remained. Yeah, yeah, we like the peace and quiet. We liked it. I always hated it here. She's pissed. She turned red. I sure do miss peace and quiet. Nessa and Corvus are the first to excuse themselves from the table. They head to the bar for a nightcap. Jack clears away the dishes and goes to the kitchen to wash up. After eating a minuscule portion of supper, Margot heads upstairs to draw a bath. 
Kimmy and Albert head to their respective rooms and get ready for bed. Nathan and Evans remain at the table, lingering over their desserts. Interesting. Well, that was a lovely meal. Yeah, Jack does a good job. Usually I wait for Jack to come clear the dishes so I can put off getting up. Looks like he's taking longer than usual to clear up. What with all the extra guests? Uh, I feel a little responsible for Jack's extra workload. Maybe I ought to give him a hand. He'd appreciate that. About time someone made themselves useful around here. I can't get up. Stand up. Okay. You stand up. Yay. We're doing it. I can get the hint. Jack doesn't want to be up late cleaning up. Fine, fine. We're done here. Thank you, Miss Maple. All right. You deal with the dirty dishes. Let's go. We did it. Help Jack with the dishes. I'm here to help. You help Jack wash the dishes. Thanks, miss. Lots more dishes than usual. Happy to help. Now I got to go see to Miss Krabby and Mr. Shaw in the bar. Have to make sure they don't drink us dry. And of course, need to get Mr. Richards his hot toddy. He likes to soothe and drink before bed. And I don't want to keep Miss Margot waiting. Uh, forget about that last one, won't you? Oh, he's about to. Oh, he's about to give Miss Margaret the deep dickening. Hmm. Ooh, Jack, what you doing, son? He was dropping Bordeaux door. Where's the Bordeaux? I think it's over here, ain't it? Where's the boudoir? I can't remember. You don't hear shit. I don't remember where the boudoir is. I'm sure it'll tell me when I get close, but... Hmm, I hear voices near this story. I wonder what they're talking about. Father still has to be around here somewhere. Oh, Father's will has to be around here somewhere. Things would be so much easier if we could just find it. If the will can't be found, we might have to proceed as planned. Take our chances. That little gold-digging hussy's gonna complicate things. But I'm dealing with her in my own way. We'll talk about it that other time. Good night, Mr. Shaw. Good night, madam. Hmm. Is that the boudoir? No, it was not. I don't know where the boudoir was. Is this the boudoir? No, this is like the lobby, ain't it? Is this the boudoir? I don't know where the boudoir is. Boudoir? This is a bathroom. You'd think it'd be on the first floor. I think I missed it somewhere. I don't hear shit. Oh, this is it. Wait, where are we at? Did I go downstairs or upstairs? What the heck? Hmm. I don't know where the boudoir is. I don't hear nothing. Why do I keep going upstairs and then back downstairs? I'm kind of confused. Am I doing it wrong? There we go. Hmm. I don't remember where the boudoir is. Why is this door locked? Oh, Albert's asleep. Hmm. Oh, this is where the boudoir is. 
where his uh, woman is, Margot. Hmm, I hear voices near this doorway. I wonder what they're talking about. You can hear muffled voices in the boudoir, but the speakers are too far from the door to hear them clearly. Perhaps you could listen at the door with an item that would help. Oh crap. Do I have an item? Oh god. This is where the struggle begins. Hmm. What does this do? You admire the minute dots that comprise the newspaper photography of a round cut diamond. What can I use? What is there that I could use to hear better? Oh, I'm so confused. Wait. I don't know. Hmm. What can I use to hear better? I don't even know how to use items in my inventory. I know how to look at them, but... Maybe I can use that drink in the last. Let's try. Uh, please work. Oh, if you don't work, I have no idea. You can hold a glass to the door, right? And get, like, the reverb or something, I think. I believe. I believe. I believe. Why do I keep going up and down the stairs? That is so frustrating, actually. Go up the stairs. Don't come back down the stairs. Thank you. Yes. Yeah, but how do I, can I use it? Yes! With the help of the drinking class, you can hear a conversation behind the boudoir door. This game's gonna be impossible for me. Let's have a look. Oh, Monsieur, you are wonderfully helpful. I do what I can. Ah, oh, thank you so much. I can never reach that spot. My body aches, Jack. You know that's a side effect of what we're doing, ma'am. Shh, you gotta keep it down, especially tonight so many years around. You're right, of course. This must remain our little secret. The voices go silent for a little while. Alright, I think we're done here. I gotta skedaddle before Mr. Richard finishes his drink and comes up to bed. Of course, of course. Mercy, Jack. Your days and nights are so very long. You got that right, and I'm not done yet. Haven't all these folks in the lodge, I gotta work that much harder. I'm sure they will be gone soon. Everything will be back to normal. I hope so. Bon nuit, <laughs> Jack. Good night. Your foot slips through the door. Singing quickly, you hide behind the big blue chest. Genius. He'll never s What the world? <laughs> what a hiding spot. Oh. After waiting a few minutes, Margot leaves her boudoir and heads downstairs. She manages to sneak across the hall to your bedroom. What a long and intriguing night this has been. Excellent job. Kudos on your thorough investigative technique. Whew, I'm exhausted. What an interesting place this is. It's too bad Kimmy and I have to leave on the train tomorrow. Later that night. 
The train tracks blow up. What in the world? Why? Thanks for playing Chapter 1. Hope you enjoyed it. Please wishlist and follow on Steam if you did. Uh, if there are any bugs, please tell me at feedback at crimsondiamond.com. That's pretty cool. Oh man, it took me so long to figure out where to find the glass, how to put the glass to the door. Oh, that was a struggle, but it was cool. One bug, maybe, I don't know if it was just me holding the right key or something, but going up the stairs and then coming back down was super frustrating. But the game works well. Um, but yeah, guys, if you like videos like these, please like and subscribe. Bye!